Hey everybody, this is Brett. Tonight I want to talk a little bit about constipation and what causes those troubles. And um, a few of the things, first of all, would be consuming foods that create a sticky buildup in your digestive system. Mucoid plaque is what it's called. And wheat gluten definitely does that because it's really sticky and it gums up the villi in your small intestine and that um, prevents that small intestine from being able to absorb nutrients and uh, obviously if it's stuck up in there, if it's all sticky in there and it's all caked with undigested food matter then it's not going to be able to absorb nutrients and it's also not going to be able to create that movement of peristalsis that moves the food through there because it's all like stuck it's all <laughs> I know it's really gross but that's what's in there the average man that's like 60 years old has anywhere from 5 to 20 pounds of mucoid plaque built up in his digestive system and that was according to the FDA for God's sake and so yes quit the wheat and also quit the dairy and also get squatting when you take a crap. Now check out the various squatting toilet platforms on the internet because when you're just sitting on a toilet you're not in the right position. You're not in a natural position to be able to take a crap and you're not releasing the muscle in there that allows the poo to move and so then it gets backed up and then you get constipation. Now Let's talk about a few foods that really rock in these regards. Now, whenever I'm doing some juicing with my Green Star juicer, not with the centrifugal force juicers that spin the juice out of there, but with a twin auger juicer that squeezes the juice out, which is very somewhat similar anyway, the way it works with the screen on the outside is somewhat similar to your digestive system. And when I'm using that juicer and I'm running various fruits and vegetables through it, if I get a backup because I'm using uh, running stuff that has a lot of liquid or is really squishy, what I do is I run a carrot through it. And that gets the fiber moving out through the end, which is like your anus, and gets that, the, everything moving through there better. And so carrots are the ultimate food for constipation because it allows not only just the juicer to move it through, but it allows the walls of your intestines to grab onto something. It gives it something to grab onto. There are um, not cooked carrots, obviously, but raw carrots. And there are a few other foods like beets are similar and celery is somewhat similar too, although cel celery has quite a bit of water in it and so it's not quite as good. But celery has these long stringy fibers that don't break down either and so that kind of really helps it to be able to grab on to something to move the food through. So. These are the very best tips that I can give you for constipation. Oh, uh, self-massage on your abdominal area is very important too. Um, sometimes it just needs to be manually manipulated. And it's very easy for anyone to reach down and put a little oil on their digestive system, on their bellies, and work like this. Here. It goes in this direction, up on the ascending colon, across on the transverse colon, and down the descending colon, and out. So work up here and across this way and down this way for some good self-massage on your digestive system to help you with constipation. There are also some acupressure points that are really good for your digestive system. And they would be over here on the side, below your rib cage, here on both sides of the belly button, the stomach 25 points, on the other side, 
And then on your low back, on your low back, back there, also affects your digestive system. So you can work on your low back, your own low back, with a Theracane. And I don't know if you've ever seen one of those before, but it's a really great tool. I don't have it handy or I'd show it to you. It's called a Theracane. And you can reach back behind your back and work on any part of your back that you want to any time. It's a great way to, to be able to do self-massage without any help. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you use it. Use it well. Don't just blow this off. Write stuff down or, or just remember it. Watch the video over again. Please subscribe to me. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Bye, y'all.